Well, sleigh bells ring and snow is glistening. Welcome to the John Dulong Show, your regular Monday morning dose of nonsense. My name's John Dulong. So glad to have you back here once again. Got a really jam-packed show in the pike for you here today. Feels like it's been a month since I last did uh, did a podcast uh, intro. Um, just a whole bunch of shit happened this week, guys. Uh, so much so that I don't actually have all the time that I want to uh, in order to talk about everything. So I'm going to debut a brand new segment here. When things just get to be too crazy, when there's just way too much news, we're going to introduce the cheers and jeers section, which um, if you can't figure out what that means, I, I got no help for you, to be honest with you. Um, so that's coming up soon. Uh, as well, we're going to talk about, um, oh, what else are we going to talk about today? How about Times Person of the Year getting released this week? Uh, we're going to have some some chat about that. Also going to talk about, uh, baby, it's cold outside. Because it's that time of year, folks, where we get to hear that song again. And it's super uncomfortable. So yeah, that and a whole host of other stuff coming on today's show it's going to be a packed one this week um anyhow uh just before we get into all of that i want to thank everybody who's gone on to the facebook page facebook.com slash the john dulong show and thrown a like follow whatever it is the kids do on facebook these days um it's been really great to see it if you haven't done that you can go to like i said to facebook.com slash the john dulong show and like us there, of course, as always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Jibberty, J-I-B-E-R-D-Y. Uh, you'll probably see a great deal of um, pictures of me doing my bookkeeping homework over the next few days. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. Like, I'm in this bookkeeping fundamentals course right now, which is not really uh, a, a major part of my program in terms of uh, becoming a, a paralegal. Uh, it's a career college, so they do a bunch of these sort of general career skills classes for you uh, so that you got to got a handle on a number of different things that you might be asked to do, but it's not going to be the major part of your gig. I am enjoying the hell out of this class. Once I got over sort of the hump of just like, you know, because there's some terms that uh, get used in different ways in sort of day-to-day life, uh, and they carry different meanings in the uh, in the whole bookkeeping world. Once I got over that hump, man, there is something beautiful about bookkeeping. It's just a matter of, I know I sound like the biggest nerd in the world right now, and anybody in my class who's listening to this right now are just like, shut the fuck up, do long. But honestly, it's just really gl- gratifying to get to the end of of uh, doing your general journal and doing your ledgers and then doing the uh, to doing the, uh, the the balance, the trial balance, and everything just lining up perfectly, evening out, balancing. It's a very nice feeling when everything uh, everything goes right. It's an even nicer feeling when you've messed something up and then you figure out where you put that extra $2,000, uh, which is what I did on my homework the other night. Anyhow, enough about homework talk. Um, that's just a little... Uh, peek into the background i guess peek into the background of this show today i'm making some pasta sauce in the background here so uh i better go check on that before uh before we get into the first topic today so uh let's just fade into the music So the sauce is turning out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's uh, get into what might be a bit of a theme over the next few episodes of the show. John ruins the holidays in some manner or fashion. Today we're going to talk about how we need to ditch 
this fucking awful song, Baby It's Cold Outside. Um, so uh, I'll link this in the show notes. You may have seen this floating around. Um, it's from Tumblr. Uh, and there's sort of a quoted tweet here from at Andrew Rannells uh, saying, I don't think any more people need to record Baby It's Cold Outside. I think we're good there. Uh, and then the, uh, the, re- the response to that uh, tweet on Tumblr is, it's time to bring an end to the rape anthem masquerading as Christmas Carol. Now, uh, the post that I'm going to link here is from a user called Teaching With Coffee. Um, and uh, they argue, uh, based, on the, uh, based on the actual sort of mores of the time, that it's actually a pretty feminist song. It's an interesting argument. Um, you know, basically, it, it argues that... Uh, the uh, the woman and the man, both cases, the woman is trying to uh, trying to preserve her virtue to the community because uh, she wants to stay, uh, and the man is trying to give her the uh, the socially acceptable outs uh, that she uh, you know that she should use that she's con- concerned for her safety and such awful weather and it's perfectly innocent it's cold out there's no cabs and all those sorts of things. And she's totally on board with it. Like this song is uh, a song where she's very much uh, on board and wants to stay. Um, And uh, the, the post does argue that it's a song about a woman trying to exercise sexual agency in a patriarchal society designed to stop her from doing so. That's quoting directly from the post, but uh, let's talk about the line that everybody, everybody fucking hates, including me. Hey, what's in that drink? Okay. So uh, the user, Teacher with Coffee, uh, notes that uh, they're a former English teacher and a big fan of jazz in the 30s and 40s. Um, and they, they acknowledge that giving a cursory glance and applying, applying today's worldview, uh, that it sounds like a rape anthem. But that line, hey, what's in this drink? was a stock joke at the time. And the punchline was invariably that there's actually nothing in the drink, no no alcohol really to speak of. I don't care, okay? I don't give a shit what this joke meant in the fucking 1940s. What it means today is that drink has something in it that the fucking drinker wasn't expecting to be there. It's fucking gross. You know what else was a regular commonplace joke back in the 40s? A lot of racial shit, okay? And we don't... Well, fuck, maybe that's not... It's hard living in 2017, guys. Shit. The point is, is that this song just sounds gross, even though even though it has its own, like, it, its own intentions, and it's got a different intention. Authorial intent is fucking dead. The author doesn't matter. The intent of the author doesn't fucking matter. So let's just do away with this piece of shit song. Okay? It's awful. Especially, especially the year that we fucking had, okay? First time I hear this song in public, I I, I might have to talk to somebody the first time I hear this fucking song at a store. In this fucking climate, we're going to have a song that says, uh, hey, what's in this drink? It sounds disgusting. Like, did fucking Bill Cosby write this song? Jesus Christ. I'm not saying that we can't judge a piece of art uh, based on the time that it was created, okay? Um, honestly, I'm a, I'm a wrestling fan. Um, and generally speaking, there isn't a time in professional wrestling, mainstream professional wrestling, when there wasn't something problematic. So I'm not saying that we can't say, okay, in that time, this was considered to be the way that it was and is considered acceptable. So let's acknowledge that and move on. doesn't mean we have to celebrate it. And I'm sorry, but every time you hear this song, there isn't a little disclaimer that says, well, you know, back in those times, a good girl had to, you know, at the very least put up a token uh, resistance against a, a man's uh, desires. And, you know, like... You know, no didn't really mean no back then, even though it does now. And, like, you know, it just, there's no disclaimer. There's no asterisk. There's nothing. It's just fucking presented. It's put out there, and it's gross, okay? It's fucking disgusting. Let's just do away with it, okay? 
We're going to do away with that. We're going to do away with Daddy Looks a Lot Like Santa or Santa Looks a Lot Like Him because I just fucking hate that song. It's saccharine bullshit, and I hate it. Silver Bells, fucking have yourself a little Merry Little Christmas. Away in a manger. And th- those can stay. The rest can go. I'm just, I'm sick of it, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm already tired of it. I've got PTSD from the times that I worked in retail over Christmas. It's made me hate Christmas music. But baby, it's cold outside. That's right up at the top. Right up at the top of the things that I, it, you know, when I'm in charge, it's gone. Ugh. Sorry. I don't like it. Don't care for it. Let's move on to something I do care about. Times Person of the Year came out this week. And sorry, Donald, it wasn't you. You were the runner-up. So don't worry, that doesn't mean that you have to do an interview. Um, wasn't me either, like it was back in 2006, when it was all of us, I guess, the uh, the people on the internet. Uh, this week, though, uh, this week, this year, it was the Silence Breakers. Those in the Me Too movement who uh, who's coming forward has uh impacted you know all, all areas of public life from uh the movie business movie and television business uh politics uh of course there's the the comedy world in in general uh both in the states and and certainly uh certainly here in canada and montreal um so uh i'm gonna link the article uh the time uh, article if you haven't had a chance to read it it's a good read uh the three authors on that are uh stephanie uh, Zacharek, uh, Eliana Doctorman, and Haley Sweetland Edwards. Uh, I'm sure I mispronounced one of your names. I'm sorry, I know you're big listeners of the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's the thing, guys. I think that uh, this was definitely the right call by time. Um, no, uh, no bigger uh, story in the news uh, has been out there as far as I, I, I'm concerned. Um, and I think that... Uh, you know, it's not good news, obviously. Um, but uh, I think the changes that are coming, and I've said this on the show already, I think the changes that are happening as a result of this, um, you know, the reckoning that's happening, uh, both in the public sphere, but also, you know, there, there's some very serious conversations going on uh, outside of the public sphere about about how this is happening, not just on uh, not just uh, not just on Hollywood Boulevard, but also on Main Street. Um all over the world, um, and uh, I think that it's uh, that it's absolutely fantastic. And like I said, the article is really good. I'm going to link it. Make sure that you uh, make sure that you give it a read there. Okay, so uh, we did some good and some bad here. Whew. We're gonna cool off with a little bit of uh, smooth guitar and uh, move into the cheers and jeers. So I talked about this last week, how I'm really, really glad that I'm not actually a for realsies journalist. Um, and it's not just because uh, print journalism is a rough place to be right now. Uh, I'm also really happy that uh, I don't have to try and necessarily keep up uh, week to week with absolutely everything that's in the news. Um, I try and keep myself well informed. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, whew, it just feels like it goes a mile a minute. Um, absolutely every week and this some weeks more than others and this week was one of them so for those times when uh, there's way too much for me to cover on this show and guys I come up with the running order for this show I, I decide what I want to talk about on a week to week basis and uh, honestly it just feels like there's uh, there's too much that I want to cram in so for those times today and uh, I'm sure it'll happen again in the future Debuting the brand new Cheers and Jeers section, along with Cheers and Jeers music. All right, basic premise here. I'm going to cheer something. 
give it props, shout it out positively, whatever the case may be, and then I'm going to jeer something to ride a party that deserves derision. It's kind of like a miniature version of the podcast as a whole, uh, but it's got some...